Hey everyone, we're back again for another edition of Slick Mixology. This is your host, of course, Uncle Slick. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and get into another cocktail. Uh, just something that uh, I tend to love and enjoy. Um, something that's really nice, refreshing on a great sunny day like this. See, I have the short sleeves on and the nice fancy pants on. Uh, so today we're gonna be a little bit more on the lighter, refreshing side yet again. Um, but we're gonna go into a gimlet. Now, of course, if you know what a gimlet is, if you've ever had a classic daiquiri, of course, you're going to have like your rum sugar water. So a gimlet is basically switching out the rum for the um, switching out the rum for basically vodka. Um, so here I have my vodka. Uh, my gimlets are a little bit more unique because we have a special guest with it. Of course, St. Germain, uh, the boozy, sneaky little sweetener that we can put into all of our uh, cocktails here. Um, so the way I'm gonna do it is a little bit uh, more on the uh, traditional side. Um, I didn't have a martini or coupe glass, so what I am gonna do is use a rocks glass. Um, and just so you guys kind of have a good visual aid of what that is. Um, of course, we like to keep it funky, so we're gonna use a few other different items to kind of make our gimlet a little bit more tasty, a little bit more unique flavor-wise. Um, so what I actually have here is some watermelon watermelon radish. Uh, these are some of the most unique vegetables out here. They look really cool. And I guess they get their name from them being uh, pinker on the inside and have a little bit more of a greener exterior there. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and get into that as uh, starting now. Um, first things first, uh, I do want to uh, start off with, of course, my non-alcoholic stuff. Um, so I stick a couple of uh, radishes in there. Um, and again, a little skimpy on the uh, bar tools, but I do have a nice hard muddling surface here. So what I'm going to do is kind of make sure those are muddled down in there along with a little bit of simple syrup here. I have about an ounce of that. Put an ounce of simple, ounce of lime. And here's where it gets a little funkier because I'm also gonna add a half ounce of pineapple. And it just kind of gives it a little bit more of a sweetness to it. Now here's where it gets funky. Your Saint Germain, that's what we really want. So I'm gonna add a three fourths of an ounce of Saint Germain. Oh, wrong lid here, sorry. Shout out to my homegirl Toya, she loves Saint Germain, so I'm pretty sure she'd enjoy this drink here. And of course, I add my 1.5 of vodka. It's quarantine season, so of course, uh, we're not going to uh, skimp ourselves on any of the booze here, but I at least want a very balanced drink. Go ahead and add your ice into your shaker tin. So before we get started on the shake, Let's just review. We've got our watermelon radishes. We've added our lime juice. We've added pineapple juice, simple syrup, St. Germain, and of course our main ingredient being that vodka. Give it a nice little shake. And some people can double strain it. I have kind of one of the shakers that have a little bit of a strainer on it, but we're gonna go ahead and just double strain it just in case. And you can see it's kind of taking some of the color from the watermelon radishes. Now watermelon radishes, they're not very sweet. They're definitely a vegetable. So let's just keep that in mind that flavor wise, it will kind of have a little bit more of that rooty, more vegetable-y kind of bite. So it does kind of put a really cool, awesome pale pink color there of course i have my watermelon radish garnish there i'll just stick that right inside there and there you have it 
you have your Saint Germain and vodka gimlet with your watermelon radish. Enjoy. Catch you guys later.